Hi everyone, welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create a threaded bolt. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to it. We have a shaft, a head, and then obviously the thread. So let's get started and see if you guys can follow along. So to start off our threaded bolt, I want to draw a circle on the top plane. So I'm going to select sketch from top. So let's select that plane. Okay, now I want to start a center point circle. So I'm going to do it on the origin, and you'll see why just now. So if you type in there 10 millimeters, we'll do an M10 bolt and finish sketch. Let's move it a bit. Extrude. We're going to now extrude this to 55 millimeters. So that's a 55 millimeter M10 bolt. Okay, now select the top view. I want to draw another sketch on this face. So if you see there, we're selecting that top face. And now's why I want to have that circle on the center point because now I'm going to do a polygon, a circumscribed polygon. And I want to be able to select that center point so it's in the center aligned with the shaft. So we'll select that there. Now we want to set the diameter of this polygon. So I can select D. And I want that to be 13. Finish sketch. Now we can extrude this top piece. Select the face. You want to select that the polygon shape as well as the circle. And we're going to set that to 8 millimeters. 8. And you've got to make sure it's on join and not new body, or else it will be a separate part. Okay, so now we have what looks like a bolt. So now we want to put on our thread. But before we add the thread to this, I just want to put on a chamfer on the bottom here because once we've added our thread, we won't be able to do that. Modify chamfer, select that face, and I want a one millimeter chamfer. So if we look there, we got our chamfer. Now select the shortcuts key S and type in thread. There we go. Now the really tricky part is getting the thread on. What you need to do is select the face, and boom, there's your thread. Um, so as you can see, we've we're using metric. That's uh, the M10 and the the pitch right-handed thread select OK so now you can see that the thread is on but we have a bit of a problem because this is just um, this is just an image of thread wrapped around the shaft so this is good if you have quite a lot of components and lots of bolts and nuts and things that you you, you don't actually want to render the full image because it uses your computer's performance or reduces your performance so you would just have it like that. But this won't work if you wanted to 3D print or something like that. So let's go back in and click on modeled. Once you've selected model, select OK. And as you can see, it's actually cut out of the shaft our thread. So now you'd be able to 3D print something like this. And if you have a corresponding nut, you'd actually be able to screw them into one another. And that's our threaded bolt, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other videos you might like to see me make. And if you need any assistance with one of your projects, let me know. Or if you're looking for someone to do drawings for you, you can get hold of me. My email is fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. It is in the description as well.